Now we're on slide C. Here's the question, and remember to write your awesome answers right here in the blue box. Examine the image below. What do you notice about the image? Let's pause here to reflect and write your answer to the question. Then press play to continue. All those are wonderful answers, and just in case, here's a hint to further the discussion. Remember the technique of tracing over the lines that make each angle to tell the difference between angles that may have some things in common. It also helps to separate angles that are joined together in a diagram. Slide D. Use the diagram below to answer the questions. Which is angle A? Let's pause here to reflect and write your answer to the question. Share your answers with each other or your teacher, depending on instructions. Then press play to continue. Why is it not good enough to say angle A when referring to this diagram? Let's pause here to reflect and write your answer to the question. Share your answers with each other or your teacher, depending on instructions. Then press play to continue. Which angle is bigger, angle DAC or angle CAB? Let's pause here to reflect and write your answer to the question. Then press play to continue. Tracing over the lines that make each angle really will help here. Angle DAC. D A C. Comparing that angle right there to angle C A B. Angle C A B. Look at the numbers they give you, and that will help you find the answer. Let's pause here to reflect and write your answer to the question. Then press play to continue. The little m here means measure. So, the measure of angle DAC is greater than the measure of angle CAB because 60 is greater than 50. Slide E. Use the diagram below to answer the questions. We call angles DAC and CAB adjacent angles. What do they have in common that makes them adjacent? Hint, look back at all the wonderful answers you put for slide C to help you out. Let's pause here to reflect and write your answer to the question. Then press play to continue. That's right, they share vertex A and they share line segment AC. D a C and angle C A B share vertex A they also share line segment A C and that's why they're called adjacent angles something that's adjacent means it's right next to it for example this pencil and this book are adjacent they're right next to each other. The green die and the white die are right now not adjacent. Now they are adjacent, right next to each other. And these two angles are adjacent. Matter of fact, they even share line segment AC. And once again, the technique of tracing over the line segments that make each angle really help us to answer the questions and to solve any puzzle related to angles, especially if we have more than one in a diagram. A little practice, which pair of angles are adjacent and explain. Let's pause here to reflect and write your answer to the question. Then press play to continue. That's right, choice A, these angles are adjacent. Why? Let's pause here to reflect and write your answer to the question. Then press play to continue. That's right, these angles share a side, and they also share a vertex. These angles are not adjacent. They're not next to each other, they're not connected in any way, they do not share a vertex, and they do not share a side. So these are not adjacent. Choice A, these are adjacent angles. Which angle is bigger, angle CAB or angle BAC? Do you work on your own or in groups? 
and share with your teacher as instructed. Let's pause here to reflect and write your answer to the question. Then press play to continue. This will help you with slide F. Types of angles. 180 degrees, straight angle. A right angle is 90 degrees. 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 degrees. The pink angle is 90 degrees, a right angle. All the angles less than 90 are called acute angles. Watch as the ray rotates from 0 to 90 degrees. All these angles up to this point are acute angles. 10, 20, 30, still an acute angle, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, still an acute angle, 85, still an acute angle, even 89 is still acute, right angle, 90 degrees. We draw a little square inside the angle to tell everyone it's 90 degrees, because every angle inside a square is 90 degrees. Now we're going to continue rotating this ray around to create angles greater than 90. 100 degrees, greater than 90. Obtuse angles. Obtuse angles are greater than 90 degrees. 100 degrees, 110, 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 170. Still an obtuse angle. 175. Still an obtuse angle. 176, 177, 178, 179, still obtuse. 180, straight angle, 180 degrees. Slide F, which is an acute angle in the diagram. And what is an obtuse angle in this diagram? Let's pause here on this graphic to help you answer questions 6 and 7 on slide F. Slide G. Let's remember that angles D, A, C and C, A, B are adjacent angles because they share a vertex A and they also share segment A, C. Students, we've reached the summary, which is where you share what you've learned today. Please write your answers here so your teacher can engage you with a discussion.